Okay, so right now we're going to learn how to make a Yoshi. So if you don't know how to make this, go back, start from the basics. Yeah, we've got a Geo Donut, we've got a, a uh, Quick Link, we've got the five inch round. Okay, um, what we're going to do is, like normal, we're going to start from the base and we're going to go on the way up. We're going to take a 350 orange like so and we're going to tie this up what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop this down here for a moment so you can see what I'm doing a bit better we've got a pinch twist and then we're going to follow by two loops so one two now these are going to be our feet Depending on which Yoshi you are going to be making, depends on the feet colour. Um, if you're unsure on the Yoshi you're making, you can always ask a kid and they'll tell you the colour scheme. Or good old Google, really. Yeah, but this is how I make it. No one normally questions it. Um, so we have two loops and a pinch twist and tied off the excess we're then going to take a lime green 350 and tie that off we're going to put it into the back of this area so we have two loops of like a hands length um but Petal twist, shall we say, and then the lime taking our base. So the knots facing me. For this moment of time, we are going to bring this and we're going to loop it around loosely. Now it's important that we do it loosely. Once it's looped around, nice and loose, we now have our measurement. We're going to twist that deflate this belt and tie off. We're going to take this, wrap it around and connect it at that pinch twist like so. Let me turn this round to you so you can see what we've got. We have that, okay? And this is where like the name Patties come in because it's just a nice chunky little body. Um, I find it quite cute. Um, and so do most people who see it. Um, we then take our red. And with this one, it's gonna be a bit different because obviously Yoshi's got a shell. Um, we wouldn't normally be uh, putting this sort of back on there, but uh, on this occasion we, we will. Uh, so we're going to need a red 350. Inflate a white 350. Pinch twist. Followed by two loops. And hand whip. And then we go up and down in this bit. So depending on how big we want our head, we're going a hand width up, a hand width down, and around that first pinch twist. So around the first pinch twist we go. Here we go. Just really loop that around like that. Make sure everything is all sitting level. And Ricky Dory, that pinch twist is at the back of the head. We need to alter anything we can do. So we have that. If you've got this little bit, you can either pop this off or you can give it another pinch twist. On this occasion, I'm going to give it a pinch twist. Okay, just to keep everything sort of pushing out the right way. Because when we 
do the muzzle part of Yoshi that's going to be pushing that a time so them two pinch press will just keep everything uh, stable now you could use a five inch quick link uh, I mean five inch round I'm going to be using a lime green um, 11 inch because I've ran out of five inch don't tell anyone okay so I've inflated it to about sort of five inches yeah we're going to make it nice and round and tie that on at the front of the face we're then going to just pull this in and we have that okay so at the back we have our loops which go on this way our double pinch twist and our eyes and that's just keeping everything stable okay you can now add the eyeballs now you could do this with a black uh, 260 just make your standard eyeballs i like to make you uh, a quick link black quick link because I can tie them two together very nicely while keeping the round shape. And before I do it, I can just level them out. So if one's gone a lot bigger than the other, I can just push that so I can get them equal. It's just a bit of a fail safe before I twist that off. Like so, using that nozzle bit go around that goes into the through the eye socket and into them pinch twist like so we then take a red 260 we make a little loop take that knot go through the loop through the eye sockets and pull it through so it locks twist that around a couple of times and then bubble this down so one two three and four and then around them bottom pins for us today take this Snap this off. Throw that on the floor. Or at a child. Okay. So we have the face of Yoshi and we have the body of Yoshi. This is when they all come together. So once again with them pinch twists, with this end of the uh, quick link, we're gonna wrap that in. We're gonna wrap that around. Once we're happy, it's locked in. There you go. So it's looking up at the moment. This is where this one comes in handy. Because we're going to take this and we're going to lock it in on those pinch twists. So straight away you can see as I put that in that's pushed that head a lot more forward we're going to bring this down work out it needs to go behind the the legs oh sorry you can't see me I've just been told um, so squeeze twist that off okay bring it down here and wrap it around the base like so so I'm wrapping around the quick link okay if I thought I should have done this really before I put the legs on but I'll put the legs on there I've got to work with it I'll be honest yeah we come back up we squeeze that and we go back to them pinch twists again With the rest of this, 
squeeze it, make it soft. If you've got a little tie point, you can wrap it in around the bottom again. And just wrap, keep wrapping it around so it doesn't come undone. So you can see that's what we have so far. If your head's a little bit wonky, if you lost a bubble, you can just re put that in. Okay, so we have that, like so. We're then going to need to put the arms on, which are a 260 in lime green. Tied off. We're going to make a small bubble, pinch twist, followed by a loop. We're going to give it a bit of a shock twist. The arms only got to be small, just a little shot, boom, like so. This is then going to go in between the shell and the belly. So it's just going to go push right through, like that. Make sure them arms are going to be level. Another shock twist this side. You can rearrange it a little bit. Okay, working out what size the other arm's going to be, followed by a loop, followed by a pinch twist, and then get rid of that bit. Okay, so now is the time to look at the model. Is everything working out to be level? Is everything sort of sitting right? Can we see everything that we need to see? And I'm pretty sure. There you go. There's Yoshi. Um, yeah, that's it. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, if you like this one, make it. It's great for birthday. Um, Sent a piece of birthday balloons and everything like that. So that's Yoshi. Okay, so because you've learnt the large Yoshi, you've also learnt the small Yoshi. Um, so this one's ideal, obviously, for the candy cups. Um, everything's downsized. I don't do the green around the bottom. You can do. Just do it away with one balloon. Because obviously these are quite a cheap um, disposable item. No one really questions it. Um, obviously we started off with a round, a geo and a quick link. And then the legs are on there, the shell's on there, but that's 260. 260 arms, 260 head, 260 here. Obviously uh, I've downsized the eyes to 260 and this is um, a little five inch round um, shit in. I tell a lie, yeah, because I've run out of green five inch rounds. It's it's an 11 inch inflated to the a tiny small amount what you use for a five inch. Um, there's no kidding you, yeah. So that's it, that's a little Yoshi, which is a, a fantastic little um, candy cup sort of design.